Nelly is an American rapper, actor, and entrepreneur who burst onto the scene in 2000 with his bombastic album Country Grammar, which will go on to sell more than 10 million copies worldwide and to this day remains his best selling album to date. Right now, Nelly's keeping busy on Dancing with the Stars, and hey, he looks like he's got the hang of it. With his success in the music industry, Nelly's purchased himself more than one home in Missouri, and we'll take a look at just how nice his properties are. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Nelly would win Grammy Awards in both 2003 and 2004 and then enter the world of acting in 2005 with the Adam Sandler remake, The Longest Yard. More recently, Nelly would give fans a taste of his private life, kind of, with his frequent appearances in the reality television parody series, Real Husbands of Hollywood. Uh, I'm here to play poker, Nelly invited me. Nelly? Yeah. I don't even know Nelly's real name, so I don't know why you would take that invite. And while that might not be an accurate representation of Nelly's real life and how he lives, I'm here today to give it my best shot as I introduce you to two of Nelly's homes that he owns in the fine state of Missouri. Nelly was born into a military family, which means that as a kid, he used to move around a whole lot. But when he was just seven years old, his parents divorced, and Nelly moved to St. Louis, Missouri with his mom. St. Louis would go on to become Nelly's primary city of residence, and almost every home he's ever purchased since then has been located in the Show Me State. He first bought a home right on Lake St. Louis in 2002 that he would feature on MTV Cribs. Yo. What's up? It's your man Nelly. And he also bought himself a home in the city of Eureka, Missouri, which is most well known for the time someone broke in to steal his stuff, while people were still home. How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at two different homes of the rapper Nelly. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Missy Elliott and Janet Jackson and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Nelly first bought this 2,679 square foot home back in 2002. This ranch style home was built in 1972 and features five bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms that look a little something like this. It's what they call, I guess, master bedroom. Pretty sturdy, kind of high, real soft. Y'all can feel that, feel that. Put your hand right there. Yep, Nelly's bedroom had an 80 inch projection screen in it, even as far back as 2002 when this appearance on MTV Cribs originally aired. Nelly was also kind enough to show off other parts of his home as well, like this motor court that's able to hold a handful of his nicest wheels. A 2001 XKR. They only made 200 of these, period, and I got one. Inside the home, you'll find a kitchen with white cabinetry as well as the bells and whistles you need to create a great meal. Or if you're anything like Nelly, it's where the most important tool in the house is kept. This is how I survive right here. The microwave. For a single man, this is the best thing they ever invented. The best. Don't be too hard on him, he was a lot younger back then. I'm sure he's graduated to more advanced appliances since then. I mean, does that look like the body of a man who still uses the microwave as his primary cooking tool? I doubt it. Pretty hard to cook the type of protein he must be eating on a daily basis in something as basic as that. Moving on, right next to the kitchen is Nelly's home arcade, where he keeps some classic games like Miss Pac-Man and a whole bunch of pinball machines. That thing there is addictive. We got the vintage Popeye machine right there. A lot of these games are older games because, I mean, all the new games, you might as well just get the PlayStation 2. As a massive car guy, Nelly's favorite part of this room is his table that's made completely out of rims. The table is made of like all rims. You know, I'm a big car freak, if you haven't noticed. Nearby is Nelly's living room, which is definitely one of the nicest rooms in the house, with its all white everything door, its floor to ceiling windows, and the doors that lead right outside. But Nelly doesn't spend much time in here for reasons I'll let him explain. The way I came from, it's like, you never go in the living room. And white was one of those things that let you know, yo, the living room was off limits. Placed around the living room at four strategic places are some extremely large fish tanks. Fish in here all African cichlids, a lot of different colors. I got like four fish tanks through the total house. I got the big one, 
I got the two like right here. As soon as you walk in, right up under the waterfalls. And in that same room, he's got a mantle that his mom specifically put together to show off her baby boy's success story. That's the Black Gold Award. You know what that is? Don't worry about it. You know my rock and jock, my MVP. It's my plaque for over in United Kingdom. This is overseas right here. Next up is Nelly's media room, which can get pretty crazy, especially in the heart of sports season. As you'll probably notice, the couch in this room is all black, which I guess in Nelly's world means you can sit back and put your feet up. It also features all the staples that a good home theater needs. At least a home theater back in the early 2000s. Outside at the rear of the home is a glass wall patio that also contains a pretty nice outdoor pool table. We out on the patio. This is a little outdoor pool table. It's made for the outdoors. So it's made to get wet and all that and still maintain. And right beside that is a jacuzzi area set into the brick finishing. Finally, the pool completes this massive backyard that I'm sure Nelly used to throw some real banger parties at when he was still living here. As nice as this home is, Nelly would go on to sell it in 2010, reportedly collecting only 740 k for it. Man, that doesn't sound like much at all. Someone got that place for a real steal. Only a little over 25 miles away from his home on Lake St. Louis, Nelly purchased this largest state in Eureka, Missouri for 1.4 million. This 9,000 square foot two-story home is situated on six acres of land and features four bedrooms, multiple fireplaces, and a 35 by 34 foot swimming pool. Not too far away from there is a full basketball court, which when combined with the pool, no doubt helps keep Nelly in the type of tip-top shape he's in today. Unfortunately, Nelly has never invited a film crew into this home to document it like he did his previous one. The closest we have to something like that is an unfortunate event that happened when someone broke into his home at about 7 a.m. in the morning a number of years ago. Pretty creepy, huh? At the time when that happened, there were three people home, but Nelly wasn't one of them. One of his house guests called the police and that kicked off a manhunt for the thief who was described as an older man with glasses and a mustache. Apparently, he got inside and was walking around with a bag full of Nelly's video games and other electronics when one of Nelly's guests ran into the guy and asked what he was doing. The guy didn't respond, he simply bolted for an open window and eventually got away. Despite over 12 police officers being called to the scene to kick off a manhunt, Hunt with canine units and everything. The man was never caught as best as I can tell. All right, guys, I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. What did you guys think of Nelly's two homes? That first one definitely had everything you could possibly need, and I still can't get over how little he sold it for. The damn thing had its own lakefront and everything. It's hard to know which of his homes in Missouri is nicer, considering not much is known about the interior of his Eureka estates, but the outside of the place definitely suggests it has everything you could possibly need. Just gotta upgrade that home security system. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to let me know what you thought. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!